What is this lunga lunga dance of liberation? Eh? Hii dance ya lunga lunga inaendaje? <laughs> Now in case you have not heard, according to NRM general Miguna Miguna, this is the dance which is going to remove despots from power. It is going to remove despots from power right here in Kenya. Okay? Now, <laughs> the problem with the NRM Uh, it's not really a problem, rather their strategy, is that they never give too much information. In fact, they give very little information. Okay? This is as opposed to NASA, because NASA gave us a lot of information. In fact, too much information in the run-up to the swearing-in of uh, President Ray Odinga. But in true military tradition, <laughs> the NRM is not like that. The NRM is at war. Therefore, they do, they're very, very economical with information. Now this raises a lot of questions. Now first of all, why call this dance the Lunga Lunga dance? Now we know Lunga Lunga is on the border of Kenya and Tanzania. Yeah. Actually if you come down from Mombasa, you go down to south coast, traveling heading towards the border with Tanzania, Lunga Lunga is the last place you'll stop before you, it's actually the border post. Yeah. Where you'll stop before you cross over into Tanzania. Yeah. And when you cross over into Tanzania, you'll be in a place called Horohoro. Yeah. So the Tanzanian side is Horohoro. The Kenyan side is Lunga Lunga. Yeah. So what does that have to do? <laughs> Why call this liberation dance the Lunga Lunga dance of liberation? Well, the general tells us we'll have to wait for March 26th to actually see this dance. Yeah. And on March 26th, he says we will see the mother of all liberation struggles. Yeah, again, that raises more questions than answers. Yeah, what kind of, uh, <laughs> what kind of uh, liberation uh, struggle move will be made on that day? Okay, we know very little. We know, for instance, that that's the day Miguna Miguna will arrive in the country. Okay, as to whether he's going to be allowed into Kenya or not, that also remains to be seen. But we know that there's a court order in force. Yeah. Now, of course, Miguna Miguna is on tour uh, right across the U.S., uh, Europe, and then he land in Kenya, okay? And there's one YouTuber who's covering his every move uh, very well, yeah? And therefore, we're really being brought up to date as to what Miguna is up to. The mainstream uh, press, of course, have completely ignored Miguna, yeah? And that uh, is very, you know, it's expected. We know how mainstream media has been behaving. We know what kind of pressures they are under, yeah? But thank God for YouTube and thank God for patriotic uh, YouTubers, okay? So this is very good and this is very good development for the country. Because the general is very eloquent in the way he explains why the despots have no right being in power, okay? Like at his New Jersey meeting he explained very clearly, yeah, that, uh, you know, there are so many uh, registered voters, 20 million. Yeah. So if two people vote for you, you cannot say because you got 100% you deserve to be president. Yeah. That brings up a very huge uh, legitimacy issue. Okay. I mean, nobody has ever, to be very honest with you, nobody has been able to explain it so clearly. Yeah. Both from a legal uh, point of view, because uh, Miguna Miguna is a lawyer, very competent lawyer at that. Yeah. He understands the law. Yeah. And uh, even generally so that even non-lawyers like myself can understand. Yeah. Very, very, very good. Very excellent. And so Kenyans, you have more, one more thing to look forward to. Apart from the grand uh, re-entrance into the country or the, the grand return of the general into the country, we're also looking forward to see what this uh, Lunga Lunga dance of liberation is all about. Yeah. Exactly how it's danced. Yeah. So get out your dancing shoes. Yeah. As we wait to meet the general on the 26th of March. Until next time, this is Chris Kumekucha. Music